we are going to discuss about uh, the basic web application in reference to the Azure process itself is concerned. As you know, Azure is a kind of environment which is used across industries for a couple of years. In reference to the understanding about the basic web application of Azure, basically, first of all, we should understand about the kind of architecture which shows us the fundamental components of a basic web application here. At the same time, you can also use this architecture to build a web, of web application and then customize the application as far as the requirement of anyone's needs. As far as the components itself is concerned, wherein you see Azure App Services will be there, wherein Azure Web Services are a fully managed platform for creating and deploying cloud applications. At the same time, it lets us to define a set of compute resources for a web run web application to run, deploy web applications and configure deployment slots on that. At the same time, deployment slots lets you to stage a deployment and then swap it with a production deployment. To avoid deploying directly into production, see the release engineering and deployment section where we need to understand about the specific recommendations there in reference to the IP addresses, all that stuff. In reference to the IP addresses, when you see the app service applications has a public IP address at the same time as a domain name. The domain name as well as the subdomain sub names, whatever that we are going to use, such as something like uh, constoso or Azure websites.net or something like Azure DNS is a hosting service for all the DNS domains and all, where provide the naming solutions using Microsoft Azure infrastructure wherein it is being used by hosting or domains in Azure, wherein you can manage your DNS records using the same credentials. At the same time, API and tools buildings and as you other Azure services to use a customer domain name, create DNS, DNS records in the map, the custom domain, name the IP addresses. At the same time, when you talk about the custom domain name in Azure app services itself is concerned as a Azure SQL database is a relational database service as a cloud system where we need to understand that SQL database shares its code based within the Microsoft SQL Server database engine. Depending on your application requirements, we can also use this Azure database for MySQL and Azure databases for Postgres SQL. At the same time, these alternatives are fully managed and database services based on the open source MySQL Server and Postgres database engines. As part of Azure, Active Directory is a cloud-based entity at the same time and an access management services that let employees access cloud applications developed from your organization where it is to be monitored I mean, it means like azure monitoring is a solution for collecting and analyzing and acting in logs and matrices across your environments where azure keyword support secrets management key management and certification management wherein it can store application secrets like database connections and strings etc Along with that, as far as the recommendations itself is concerned, requirement might be different from the architecture described and given the code. The code deploys within the production configuration. Use the recommendations to customize your deployments to meet our needs. As far as application service plan itself is concerned, wherein you can see here, in reference to the application service plan itself is concerned, has a different pricing types wherein each pricing type supports several instance sizes and all that differs by the number of cores and memory. You can change the pricing type after deployment by selecting scaling up on the left navigation. At the same time, here are some recommendations where we need to understand and uh, run your production workloads and all everything from the basic standard and premium pricing types. At the same time, all these three types that run as are the run uh, are the applications to run on their dedicated virtual machine instances and has allocated resources that can be scaled out. Use the standard and premium types if you are, need any kind of uh, auto scales and as less well SSL creates a different application service plans, all that stuff. For testing and deployment, we need to use free and shared types for testing and development purpose for cost efficiency. But at the same time, we need to make sure that all these free and shared uh, services and all for production workloads and all everything should not be used for the shared resources which can't be scaled up. at the same time people who are using this azure uh, platform and all make sure to delete plans that you aren't using such as testing deployments app service plans are all built and as per the second basis at the same time it is being charged instances in the application service even if the application server is stopped for 
uh, whatever the reason it does. At the same time, in reference to the SQL database itself is concerned, in reference to this, use Azure SQL database to reduce the management overhead where Azure SQL database creates a logical construction that acts as a central administrative point for a collection of databases. This logical construction reduces management overhead. Each database within the group is deployed within a specific service type. With each group, the databases can't share resources. There are no computer costs for the servers, but you need to specify the type for each database. Therefore, the performance might be better because of the dedicated resources, but the cost can be higher, performs cap uh, can be higher as, as well. At the same time, when you need to understand about the performance capacity planning and choosing a right type and performance level that meets its requirements, whereas SQL database supports basic standard and premium service types and all within the multiple performance levels within each type measured in database transaction units, which is called DTUs. As far as the creation of application service plan and the SQL database in the same region itself is concerned is to minimize the network latency. This is being used to choose the region closest to the users. As well as resource groups also has a region, it specifies where deployment metadata is stored. But make sure to put these resources group and resources in the same region to improve availability during deployment. Using this pricing calculations and all to estimate the cost, wherein to understand about the Microsoft Azure Well Architecture Framework considerations, where this is being implemented in the pillars of the Azure Well Architecture Framework. These pillars are set of guiding tenants that improve the quality of workload. At the same time, Microsoft Azure Well Architecture Framework majorly use this performance efficiency. Based on this performance efficiency, the major benefits are used for Azure App Services, which is the ability to scale your application based on the load. Wherein some considerations to keep in mind when planning it to scale your application as well. 